So one thing I'm often asked about is how do I get my videos from my computer onto my iPod Touch, iPhone or iPad? And you can do that using iTunes and you just simply have to connect your device to your computer. And some people connect using a cable which can be quicker if you're using movies, particularly if you're using movies that is, and also if you've got lots of music as well. Movies, when I say movies, I'm also talking about TV shows or any sort of video content, really. You can also do it wirelessly. That's a little bit slower, but some people prefer the convenience of doing that. So it doesn't matter how you connect your device onto your computer. It works the same way. So these are movies that you may have created yourself using iMovie, Final Cut Pro, Movie Maker or Adobe Premiere. You may have also got them from something like Handbrake, you may have ripped them from a DVD and I have to point out that those are copyrights so you do need to be careful, you need to look at what the laws are in your country before you actually start copying those across. So how do I do it? Well I'm here, I'm looking at my library and here's movies, I've already clicked on it. There's no movies in here and it says that you can download movies, you can rent movies and you can see more about that by watching the tutorial or browsing movies in the iTunes store. But I'm going to take one from the computer and it works the same way on Windows as well. So I'm just going to open up my Finder, which would be your my computer on your Windows machine, or you might actually have it in My Movies or Movies, depending on which version you've got, or videos. So I've got some videos here, you can see some were M4V, MP4, and basically it doesn't matter, M4V, MP4, same thing, they just got a different file extension. So what I'm going to do, all I have to do is click and drag it across to here, and when I let go, you'll see across the top, it was very quick, it copied it across and now it's in here. I can do the same with this one. I can just simply click and drag it across. However, I can also go to iTunes, choose File, Add to Library, and I can then find this one up here. That's the one I want. Click on Open, and it appears here. You can play them here. I can just click on that Play Movie, and there you go. Off it goes. But I'm not going to play that now because you can go to my website and watch that. But they are here now. So what I want to do is I actually want to get those onto my iPad. So I'm going to click here where it's got my iPad because that's the device I've connected. And I can go to Movies. And what I'm going to do is make sure that this Sync Movies is ticked. And I'm going to uh, click on Sync Movies there. And I can get it. Right now it's going to automatically include all movies because I'm just going to click on that one there and all of them will automatically be included. I can also have the most recent, first most recent, three most recent, five most recent, all unwatched, most recent unwatched, one most recent unwatched, three most recent unwatched, and so on. However, if I untick this, I then get to choose individually which ones I want to add. So I can just tick and untick to add them. And you can see as I tick and untick, you'll see that down here it's showing me how much space it's using. So if I've ticked these and they're big, you might see this actually moving along. I can then click on Apply and that will sync it. If not, it will then come up with the Sync button down here and you can click on Sync and then you'll see the wheel spinning over here showing you that the iPad is then synchronizing. I'm not going to do that now because it'll take a bit of time, so off you go and you can do that.